Resba kuna, kasangga ng bida. As a frontliner, I belong to A1 of the COVID-19 vaccination prioritization framework. But I wasn't able to avail the first batch of vaccines due to conflict of my schedule. I received my first shot of COVID-19 vaccine on March 30, 2021. Here are the priority population groups for vaccination. A1, the frontline workers in health facilities both national and local, private and public, health professionals and non-professionals like nursing aides, janitors, barangay health workers, and many more. A2, senior citizens aged 60 years old and above. A3, persons with comorbidities. Ano itong mga comorbidities na to? Like cancer, kidney diseases, chronic lung diseases, hypertension, diabetes, and many more. If you have comorbidities, it would be better for you to have your medical certificate bago ka pupunta sa vaccination site. A4 naman, frontline personnel in essential sectors including uniform personnel and those in working sections identified by the IATF as essential during ECQ. So this is what we have right now. Lahat ng ating mga kababayan na trabahante na lumalabas ng bahay. A5, indigent population. Meron din po tayong priority eligible B, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, and B6, and then priority eligible C. Good morning! Today is May 25, and lalabas ako, pupunta ngayon ako sa Mandawe Sports Complex to have my second dose of COVID-19 vaccination. O, oh, ba Ngayon, gagraduate na ako. Ang price ng pagiging maaga, ayan, nakikita ko lahat. As in, ako ang number four sa mga mababakunahan. O, oh, ba Everything is in order. When I arrive at the vaccination area, may pila for the first and the second dose. Since it is my second shot, so I have my vaccination card with me. And these are the process. Number one, proceed to registration, followed by verification area. Then, pupunta tayo sa mga nurses wherein they will take our vital signs. From there, may pila for medical evaluation of our doctors before we will receive the vaccine. Heto na, heto na. I will receive my second shot. Wala akong ibang nararamdaman kundi excited na matapos na ako. At last, human na ako. I'm done. Tapos na ako. Graduate na ako. From here, may area din kung saan pwede kang magpa-picture for your remembrance. And then after that, you will proceed to the post-vaccination area. Dito, you will stay for at least 15 to 30 minutes or if there is a side effect until you will be stabilized. A health worker will go there sa'yo to take your vital signs and then ask for possible side effects. Kung meron bang masakit sa'yo, kung nahihilo ka, kung nagpapalpitate ka, at kung ano pa na nararamdaman mo. COVID-19 vaccines are safe. Getting vaccinated will help protect you against developing severe COVID-19 disease and dying from this infection. But why is it may mga side effects? It is a sign that your body is building protection. Your body is responding from the vaccine that was given to you. The immune system is instructing your body to react in certain ways. How? It increases blood flow so more immune cells are circulated. It raises body temperature in order to kill the virus. And what 
what are the most common side effects of these vaccines? We have fever, chills, headache, muscle pain, fatigue, pain on the injection site. We have diarrhea also. The less common side effect naman na reported is we have the allergic reaction and the anaphylactic shock. Now, once you have an allergy with the component of the vaccine, it's a no-no for you to have this vaccine anymore. In my case, after the vaccination, I have a pain on the injection site for at least three days. But I did not take any medicine. What I did is I just apply a cold compress dun sa site hanggang nawala. And it took three days bago totally nawala yung sakit talaga. More than that, wala na. AstraZeneca vaccine. Nasabi nila, marami daw itong side effect. And in my practice, yes, nakakita ako ng mga, ng mga ilang patients na pumunta sa aking clinic wherein they had the side effect. Number one, yung isa, fever in chills talaga. Umabot talaga siya ng 39 to 40 and then nagchichills talaga yung patient. And then yung another, another patient naman na na-encounter ko, meron siyang fatigue and at the same time headache Ang headache niya, sabi niya sa akin is 8 over 10. And that is post-vaccination. Mga 3 o'clock siya nagpa-vaccine, naramdaman niya 7 o'clock na. The other one, yeah, as if parang 3 to 4 hours post-vaccination, doon nila naramdaman. And meron din akong na-encounter na meron siyang, meron siyang uh, comorbidity, isa siyang hypertensive on Lozartan, pero wala siyang side effect. No, may may encounter din ako. Marami talaga akong marami silang mga sakit, no? Comorbidities ang tawag diyan, pero wala silang side effect. And then on the history taking, this is one thing that I found out. And ako din. Before you take the vaccine, you must be physically and mentally prepared. Parang ako at my age, wala naman akong naramdaman, wala akong side effect kundi masakit lang sa side. Yung meron comorbidities na sinabi ko, wala din naman silang side effects. Pero yung dalawa at tatlo, bata pa. Pero why is it meron silang side effect? During the history taking, I found out na they are not that prepared. They are from duty. And then they went there because it is their schedule. Hindi nga naman natin kayang tansyahin, no? Nag-duty pa bago pumunta doon para magpavaksin. So, puyat siya, bago siya nabaksinan, yun, nagkaroon siya ng side effect. But again and again, as what I have said kanina, these side effects are still normal. No? Because it only shows the reaction of your body to the medicine or to the, to the vaccine that was given to you. As what I have discussed a while ago. But what I can advise is that sana you are mentally and physically prepared. After vaccination, it usually takes a few weeks for the body to build immunity against SARS-CoV-2. So, it is possible for a person to be infected with COVID just before and after the second vaccination. This is because the vaccine has not yet enough time to provide protection. That is the reason why dapat gagawin pa rin natin yung mga apat dapat, no? Yung ating uh, mask, yung ating face shield, yung ating social distancing, and yung mga hand washing, mga ganyan. Huwag po tayong matakot na magpabakuna. Sa buong mundo, marami na po kami na nababakunahan. But based on the data, between the side effect and the benefits, the benefits still prevail, as you can see. So, with that, wag po tayong matakot. Any brand po na available na pwede sa i-vaccine sa atin, we must have to take the opportunity and the chance. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any questions na hindi nabanggit mula sa aking lecture, you can comment down below and I'll try my very best to answer them. Because I believe that knowledge is power.